Hello and welcome back to our channel, For Wheel Speed. Today's video is about the comparison between 2023 Honda Civic and 2023 Toyota Corolla. The Honda Civic and Toyota Corolla are natural competitors, two affordable, efficient compact sedans from automakers with deserved reputations for reliability. The Toyota Corolla and Honda Civic are among the most popular compact cars on our shores, both are among the most popular compact cars on our shores, Toyota introduced its latest iteration of the Corolla for the 2020 model year, but Honda just dropped the 11th generation Civic in 2022. Should you buy the 2023 Honda Civic or the 2023 Toyota Corolla? Before we continue, please let us know what you think about this review in the comments section below and we would appreciate your support by subscribing to our channel. This helps us bring more content to our viewers. We bring accurate information and we hope you can appreciate that. Although the Civic offers significantly more legroom for rear seat passengers, especially if you're comparing the hatchback variants, folks sitting up front may be happier in the Corolla. The Toyota seats are generously padded and offer plenty of support. They stay comfortable even after a long drive. By comparison, the Civic's buckets aren't quite as cushy. Frankly, both of these sedans are a little noisy inside, but that's typical for the segment. In the case of the Honda, though, the cabin gets awful noisy when the vehicle is riding over rough pavement, and when the engine is working hard, passengers will take notice. The Corolla's engine can get a little trashy at higher RPMs, and wind noise is apparent at higher speeds, but it's quieter over broken pavement and in most situations than the Civic. Unlike the Civic, the Corolla can be ordered with an exceptionally efficient hybrid powertrain. Sure. The Honda Insight can be thought of as a hybrid Civic, but that car starts at $26,225 compared to the Corolla Hybrid's $24,675 base price. The Corolla Hybrid delivers an outstanding 53 city and 52 highway miles per gallon and offers a total range of 593 miles. Plus, it gets an excellent IntelliCoise value rating. The new Civic has a longer wheelbase than the Corolla which is 107.7 inches compared to 106.3, and that pays off in interior space. In the Honda, passengers will enjoy 42.3 inches of legroom up front and 37.4 inches in the back seat. The Corolla offers 42.0 and 34.8 inches. The Civic has more trunk space too, which is 14.8 cubic feet to the Corolla's only 13.1 cubes. The Civic is a confident, compliant handler, aided by its independent rear suspension. It exists among the few affordable compacts that are genuinely fun to drive. Ride quality is impressive, too, ironing out bumps and ruts that were uncomfortably apparent in the Corolla. The Civic is also quicker to 60 miles per hour, and it offers a pair of performance variants in the Civic C and Civic Type R. When it comes to technology, simply put, the Corolla just feels a bit old. The Civic feels more advanced across the board. Its fully digital instrument cluster is more impressive. It's true that we get full digital in the 2023 Corolla as well. The Civic offers a sizable 9-inch infotainment display while the largest available Toyota system only measures 8 inches. The Civic and Corolla both include their automaker's respective driver assist active safety suites, Toyota Safety Sense and Honda Sensing, as standard, but the Honda's is more impressive. Whereas the Toyota's system includes the adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist that's been around for years, the Honda Sensing Suite in the new Civic feels closer to a Tesla Autopilot or GM Super Cruise, displaying all the vehicles around you in the instrument cluster display and providing steering assistance to keep you centered in the lane. Now this will conclude our review from today. Thank you for listening to this information and we would love to see you come back to our channel. 